down. I'm Jeremy. I'm Steven. We're the Super Mega Bros. Today's build is a 3D printed Stormbreaker from Avengers Endgame. Let's go! Here we go. Well, so this is a doozy of a build. Yeah, this one was big. I think this is one of my biggest builds yet. Oh no, Aquaman Trident was a little bit bigger. Well, it was it was taller, but I don't know if it was wider. Yeah. Or had as much a uh, girth. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I wanna say that, but this this build like wait till you guys see the final, I can't wait. Anyway, we printed this in uh, large format. Yeah, I had somebody uh, a friend of mine at work printed them. They was supposed to print me the accent and the hammerhead, but uh, yeah, I got hosed on that, so I ended up having to do a lot more work. Oh, so this is everything on in the smaller scale. If you had like a regular small FDM machine, not yeah. large. Yeah, I, I didn't get the good opportunity, so all this would have been one one good piece. Ah, uh, so no build line, but yeah. we, we learned a lot from this build. What uh, what are you using? What glue? Uh, I got some little Gorilla epoxy. Oh, two part. Yeah, but uh, this build, these smaller parts are great. Because they have some dowel rods uh, blocks built in. So the dowel rods fit together really well and I thought it would give it a lot more stability for the small, uh, for the FDM version. Did you well, measure the dowel rod yourself or it just happened to fit? Well no, no, no. I, I ordered a pack with three sizes. Ah, okay. And I knew okay. one of them would fit and, you know, you can't never have enough dowel rods. Yeah. So I was just kind of, the one. it was one size to fit them all. So I kind of... One know, ring? Like yeah, pretty much. I, I always do that. Like the, the I always buy three different sizes in something just to make sure because honestly being makers you're going to use those dowel rods eventually again yeah, you never something. know when you can jimmy rig them into something else yeah that that's the other thing when when you get 3d prints from someone else or if your if your peg doesn't fit like you know the 3d printed peg you just use a dowel rod skin then put it in there square peg and around hole this one yeah so it, it looks like you're you're still using the epoxy now so you painted you're you primed it yeah, and that's dupli color, right? Yeah, regular good old primer, and I uh, hit them. I primed them up pretty good. The uh, the handle tended to absorb more. That's because it's wood. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then uh, this is me just trying to cover up some of those build lines, which oh, yeah. killed me <laughs> because I, I would have preferred to have it in one big old piece. But uh, it's it's tough to get acro green out of the cracks and crevices. Yeah, of, you can uh, see like there's some definitely some cracks and crevices that I didn't want to get it into because I would lose some of these little lines. Well, yeah, I mean sometimes giving like having the connecting point is worth it if you don't lose like detail work. Yeah. Um, so now we're going back in with dowel rods. Yeah, I it has enough space to hold one giant dowel rod, but I figured I'd buy the pack and just kind of connect it all as connecting points. Uh, this may or may not come back to haunt me at the end of this build. <laughs> I still have my soundboard. Uh, so you have to prime, now you're painting black. Why, why do you paint black first? Uh, anytime I'm doing metal color, I do black underneath it. So this way it kind of shines through and you'll see it in the next couple of frames where we start painting uh, this other color. It's called the uh, Dark Steel uh, from Rust-Oleum from their uh, Hammered division. It's a, it's a nice color, it's, it's great, and you'll see how the black, or at least how I see the black kind of pops through it. And, okay, uh, so now it has black, and now you're going on with the chrome. Yeah, this is no, this is dark steel. Oh, chrome and that's rustoleum. Yeah, so you kind of see how it still has that black flex in there, and it suddenly uh, has that good look to it. And then as far as uh, when I get the paint chrome, that's a, a Tamiya paint. If you stare too much at the spinning, it can mess you up. Sorry about yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, okay, so now now you're going on this one with same thing, dark steel. Uh, okay. And it just sounds so. Uh, <laughs> the dark steel. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> you got to whisper the curses a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I don't want to say that. Uh, Dower, oh, you finally used a hammer and not the back of a spatula. You're, you're learning your tools. <laughs> I, dude, off screen, I'll hammer them dowel rods in by hand. Oh, you see it? See that peg? Yeah, so this uh, is the hardest one to get in there. Yeah, that thing, that's my downfall right there. Uh, that was a rough build, but uh, here now I, you re, like re prime? The, yeah, this is the third or fourth cut of prime. It was really uh, sucking down the paint. So I finally decided to just go right into the brown yeah, as opposed to wasting my primer. And just go right Which. Into it. Which prime is? Do we know what uh, brand brown that is? Uh, is that like a regular Rustoleum or a specialty? No, it's one of the specialty colors. That's Max, okay. Max coverage. And then I wanted to weather the wood, uh, so I got black and some green in there. And as you can see, it's really taking the shine out, kind of making it look like wood. Uh, yeah. I think it came out pretty good. I, I I love the finish. The only the only thing that I would say maybe you could try is do the black fully around, get the black out, and then use like a little bit of a brighter green. 
and then put that in certain spots, wipe it away, and then maybe go back in a little bit with black to dull it. Because sure. you can always dull, but you can't really brighten the green once it's in there with the black. Yeah. So what's, oh, so now you're doing, what's that, chrome? Yeah, that's a chrome Tamiya paint. And I figured it makes uh, some sense. I need a color break, because that thing is just all that one color. It doesn't, you know, it's flat. It needs something, so that would kind of be like where you would grind it. Co as color a, break. Yeah, if it was a real weapon or a real action, you would grind that front out. So I wanted to give that a shiny color. And it's funny, because when you look at it dead on the camera, you can't see it. It and disappears in the, in the light, and it, yeah. it's driving me crazy. What, what's funny is that Tamiya is like... You are my that's what I tell Tammy. Yeah. What, what's what's I was gonna say is funny is that the last piece you painted, your brush was full size, and now you're using a baby brush on the bigger surface. Because I left that brush to get dry and crusty, oh, so I had okay. to pull out another brush. So that brush was probably dry. On Amazon, man, we keep buying those giant. I'm using them as disposable like napkins. I just use it and throw it out because brushes are so cheap now. And just just a, a makeup road tip, spinning on the edge of the brush will not bring it back to life. You gotta. <laughs> You gotta throw, throw it in some water. Either. Well, the good thing if you use Tamiya, Tamiya uh, dries as a plastic because it's acrylic. Yeah. So you can you can peel it off your brush with uh, soap and water I or have, thinner. I, but it I sometimes it's more it's more work than just yeah. buying a new. I, pack I have a huge it. bowl with just like ten brushes in it. Yeah. Or shop. you could just buy a pack uh, on Amazon. They have like hundred packs for like ten bucks or fifteen bucks. I, I try to reuse what I can. Well, no, but like brushes, like I I, I just sometimes you know drives me crazy. Hey, you used a mallet this time. Yeah, I'm learning, man. Look at that. And I, I clamp, real clamps. I need more clamps, man. Uh, yeah, I love my clamps. I have the baby clamps. I, I learned a lot with why I need clamps in my last uh, project. Yeah. Um, and it needs to tell you, like right now, when I'm assembling this, and this is like to me, I feel like I can throw this thing when it gets fully assembled. Well, it's heavy. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really heavy. Oh, wait. Here. <laughs> this is where I, uh, I, made a, I made a mistake. And I put, the, I put the accent on upside down. And I took it off to think about it, and then I put it back on upside down. Yeah! And this will come back to haunt this build <laughs> later on. Stay tuned for the, the haunting. Yeah. And then now you're adding uh, I'm more epoxy in the hole? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to start attaching the, uh, the handle to it. And I kind of left it in two parts, a smaller part of the handle and the upper part of the handle. Uh, and this is at the point where... I'm getting ready to assemble it, and I'm on a roll right here, and I'm getting ready to just... I'm like, oh, this, this one's done. I'm putting this one to uh, to bed. So, I'm, you know, I, I get the top ready, I get the bottom ready, and then here we go. And I'm putting it together, and nothing. It's It won't seal, and I tested it prior to that. So, in reality, I was, I was there. I was thirsty for it, and then I couldn't figure it out. And then I realized I screwed up. So what what was the uh, the the mess up? <laughs> so that nub that I uh, I'm sanding. I, yeah, I'm sanding down this nub, and that was the part that I uh, <laughs> sorry I accidentally glued that upside down, and I took it out and then put it back. Well, it turns out that nub that I was just sanding was supposed to be on the bottom. So you oh okay, so I get it now. You 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 took it off. Put it back on, and then like you didn't notice it, but yeah. in the video it looks like you made the bad decision twice. Uh, yeah, thanks. Okay. Uh, and then uh, I called you to help out. And I locked that out. nub off with yeah, a Dremel. Yeah. yeah, and then this is me just I went back in to patch it back up a little bit. I knew it was gonna be hidden, so just a little quick pass of bond on some paint, and I knew it would be something away nobody would see it. Yeah, the, the group, except for all the people watching. Yeah, the, <laughs> the group wood area uh, covers it. That's why I just lopped off the nub. Yeah, and so now you're dremeling out the old, old the epoxy that I let oh, dry. Cause, yeah, because I, I got mad and I left the build overnight, <laughs> and then now I have to ream it all out, and I'm paying for it. <laughs> I called it group rot. So. Yeah, that was that's pretty bad. I, there's even some scenes of me with a torch uh, that didn't make it into the video. Trying to heat up the epoxy to pull it out because it was so thick. We got to put too much epoxy. He's like <laughs> throwing fireballs at it. Uh, the that's funny. I it, it sucks when the glue dries and you're like. I, a lot of times that happens to me when I mess up a project. I leave it there and I'm like, oh, I'll come back to it. Yeah. And then you realize like the damage of you just leaving it there is yeah. worse. Yeah. And then while I was fighting with it, the handle broke and that little nub that I said was a problem. So here I am reaming that spot out, and I'm gonna put uh, some dowel rods. I was just measuring the hole, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put two dowel rods together, glue them, and then put them in place. So the problem is I gotta ream all this hole out, and behind this hole is a dowel rod. So I'm kind of just fighting this fight on this part, mm -hmm. and it was really giving me some trouble. 
and then just trying to get it all back together, you know, trying to stand the stick back up and then get in the giant clamp. It was rough. I because it is very big. And it's awkward. It's not a straight stick. It's it's curved. So yeah. So we hope you enjoyed this build. Definitely check out the final shots at the end. There. Oh man, wait till you see the size of this monster yeah. <laughs> of, an, yeah. of an axe. Yeah, here it comes. And the slow reveal. When anyone asks us what size this is, it's desk size, massive. Well, come on back and subscribe for more content. And hit the notification bell so you can check out our videos. Let's get out of here. <laughs>